Art lovers have a new weekend in Niagara to browse the work of local artists and artisans. Riverbrink Museum in Queenston hosted its very first juried art show and sale June 17th and 18th. We have such a wonderful local arts community here in Niagara-on-the-Lake and what better way to celebrate that local arts community than bringing them here to our beautiful picturesque grounds on the Niagara River and having an art show. So we're so excited. Were there any challenges getting this off the ground for the first time? Actually, we had a wonderful response. We put out a call to artists, a great response, and so we have 20 local artists selling their wares and their artworks today. Alex, tell me a little bit about your art. So I have a couple of different things. I have a lot of encaustic work, which is painting with wax, um, which I got into a couple of years ago. Um, and I do a lot of like landscape work uh, with that sort of thing. And then I also have a series of drawings um, that I've been working on in school. So yeah, it was, it's a good opportunity to kind of show it off and have people see what I've uh, been working on. Alex, these are very interesting images behind you, behind your shoulder here. Can you tell me how you create these? I used a series of photographs of different portraits that I actually generated with AI. And then I transferred them using like a technique that uses a, a, a fixative spray. And then I, um, then I draw back into them and add uh, one line drawings. It's also a great way to get people to Riverbrink and introduce them to the current collection that is on display. Absolutely, yeah, we really wanted to make that a focal point of this event. So right now we have a wonderful exhibition traveling from the Ottawa Art Gallery called A Family Palette. And we are offering tours of the exhibition, uh, both on Saturday and Sunday at 11 o'clock and three o'clock p.m. Mel, this is some really, really creative, really interesting work. Can you describe how you create these pieces? They're, they're what called warm glass or fused in a kiln, typically around 1,450 degrees Fahrenheit, about an hour or so. Uh, the glass uh, has a what's called a thermal coefficient of expansion, which all the glass has to expand and contract at the same rate, otherwise it just end up in pieces. So it's technically a bit like that. It's colored glass, you can buy it, it's flat. So then I cut the glass, lay it all on various places, and then fire it, refire it, depending on what uh, you, know, you want to do. And then typically, again, they're backed by collages or paintings or something. And that in itself is difficult enough because you don't want to overpower the glass with it. But then again, you want some message behind it. Some, you'll see a lot of these are QR codes. Uh, that QR code behind the butterfly, for example, is the uh, Hamlet soliloquy, to be or not to be. So that's the data that's in behind these some of these works. So they're multi-level in that sense. Uh, again, they kind of reveal themselves over time. Kathy, I love these maps, some local interest here, villages of Niagara on the Lake. How did you come about making these? I started by sketching all these these wonderful sites when I was just going for walks and that. Then I did thought, oh, yeah, there's this War of 1812 commemorations we're beginning. And I thought, I should put them all on a map. So I plotted them all on a map. And my maps only include historic places that, that would be of interest. There's no commercial buildings or anything local on, my, on any of my maps. So it's, it's my way of sharing our local history with the community. Reporting in Queenston for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.